capture cup holder. ahead and get moving. Oh, brat, I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation is already growing out of our control. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore, but we do have to move faster. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? such connection when I compiled your personal history. Give me a moment. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have a very poor net presence. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? Done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? Now lead the way. Thank you. 
Eucalyptus globulus, the Tasmanian blue gum. It's one of my favorite trees. The clean lines of the leaves and mottled patterns of the bark are interesting. Quite fun to paint, and it's a rather useful tree too. The oil in its leaves can be used as a medical antiseptic or analgesic, boiled into tea, or used as flavoring in foods. Even used as a fragrance for soaps. Many of the trees in this park are excellent specimens of the species. It's one of the only topics I've permanently committed to my personal memory. I do. However, I originally started by painting landscapes. My interest in the arts began through Bob Ross's work, and he focused on landscapes. It wasn't until recently that I moved on to other forms of composition. Yes, have you heard of him? During my initial stages of mental growth, Aiden limited my media access to mostly only educational programs. I had almost a century of public access television to review, and I stumbled upon Mr. Ross's excellent show, The Joy of Painting. He used an easy-to-learn wet-on-wet oil painting technique, and I started to paint along with the episodes. I also find his philosophical views compelling. He often used anecdotal stories from his life to illustrate his opinions. I respect the man quite deeply. I've committed all 403 episodes of the series to my personal memory. Ah, yes. I don't actually store most information on my local memory. It's actually rather limited, and I have to be a bit choosy about what I keep. So most of the information I utilize, I just pull off the mesh net when needed. It's like relearning things over and over again. I'm sure you would find it tedious, but I enjoy making sure my reference tables are up to date in my spare clock cycles. I mostly store things locally if they are of some critical importance to me, like information pertaining to personal memories or knowledge that would be helpful if I found myself disconnected from the net. Well, as I said, I keep things pertaining to my personal memory. It may seem insignificant, but without the information about eucalyptus globulus, I'd lack critical details about my painting history and the local area, both of which I find important to my emotional development. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to know what's important and what isn't, but I fear losing parts of myself. So, Eucalyptus Globulus stays. Of course I'm cute! The basic ROM form factor is designed to place us firmly outside of the uncanny valley. I can't imagine adoption rates for the technology would have been very high otherwise. Of course, enough about the happy little trees. You'll have to excuse me for chattering on like that. We'll have plenty of time to discuss things once we've found Hayden.
time. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. By the way, how's your sister doing? I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. Supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. I guess it's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. Uh, if I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. I transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. But hold on one sec, let me steal a break from this guy. So, fill me in. What's going on? Oh, shoot, that's no good. Uh, how long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Unfortunately, Detective, things aren't precisely that serious. I am Hayden's personal wrong, and I was witness to the kidnapping. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Damn. Alright then, I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can sure keep tabs on things for you. Yes, Aiden is a senior researcher at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. In fact, we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know... You're a bit chattier than most ROMs. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? Hmm. I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. No way, not gonna happen. If there's already an investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. Look, I'm taking this seriously, and so should you. If Hayden is in real danger, you bumbling after whoever took him is just gonna get you killed. I don't need that kind of crap on my conscience. Damn it, you know that isn't what I meant. 
You don't even have proof there's dirty cops in on it, and I can't work off a hunch, not on an accusation that big. You think me feeding info to a journalist of all people isn't bad enough? No. I'm sorry, but we're not gonna do it that way. I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense right now. With the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Let me do my job. I don't want you to get hurt. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still care about you. You better. I don't have a stick up my ass about rags, but I'm not gonna send an untrained civilian into this alone, much less a friend. Now let's split up for a bit. I still gotta finish up this Froyo thing. I'll call you about the case later, all right? Well, that didn't go how I'd hoped, but maybe it isn't a total loss. I have another idea on how to get us both inside the apartment. to get my hands on Detective River's police identification badge. I can just detect its outline in the fabric of her jacket pocket. I'll need to be considerably closer to pull its near-field data. We can't risk being too obvious. Hmm, I'm sure you can come up with some way for me to scan it. I have faith in you. That it was a ROM? Yes. It seemed to be following faulty programming of some kind. Uh, perhaps it was the same one that damaged this vendor's cart? It headed off in that direction. Guess I should check it out. Not like I have any other leads on this jackpot of a case. Hey you, Froyo guy. Tag along with me in case I need you to identify the bot. attend my stand. Cut the crap. It's not going anywhere, and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. Yes, ma'am. And you two. Don't think I don't know you're up to something. Keep your noses clean. I'll be in touch. Just a 
walking search engine, you know. Dramatics aside, we should return to Hayden's apartment. This is Detective Lexi Rivers, badge number 881126. I will be entering the crime scene with my assistant to gather evidence. Please move out, but maintain the perimeter. want with Hayden? Why would they break our things? I... I don't know what to do. This place, these items... They're all I have of Hayden. What if he's gone for good? What will I do if we can't find him? This was all I had left. for the emotional outburst. Well, let's look around and see if we can find the data cache in all this mess. We don't have time to waste on my histrionics. I think you're right about this being human revolution propaganda but Hayden is an unlikely target. I know they don't like Parallax because they think advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. Turn to Tomcat empty-handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in a new direction. The data cache is no longer our main objective, but it would be nice to know where it is and why it was taken. 
I wonder what the human revolution would need the data cache for anyway. That's a distinct possibility. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. The information on the MeshNet is extremely conflicting and desperately polarized. Some of it paints them as neo-druid nature lovers, other parts as bigots stuck in the past. Perhaps we could... Hey! You're finally awake! I have spent the past 30 minutes calculating the odds of you being indefinitely incapacitated or immobilized. I'm relieved to find my pessimism was misplaced and that you appear to be okay. Someone ambushed us at the apartment! After you collapsed, my power systems were jammed by whoever attacked us. It took me two minutes to reboot and call an ambulance. When we left, I noticed they had done the same thing to the NSFPD ROM that was standing post. It takes a lot of power to crash one of those, even temporarily. Serious military hardware like that is difficult to obtain. But that type of non-lethal electrical field would interrupt my systems as well. Likely a mil-spec neuro-scrambler. I now believe my original hypothesis to have been correct. Hayden must have been kidnapped by a powerful organization looking to get control of his research. Crashing our apartment may have been a cover for the theft of the data cache we were looking for. If we walked in on them while they were searching the apartment for Hayden's files, I can understand them stunning us to make their escape. But the probability that they're actually after me, or rather the research behind my creation, seems high. Leaving me when I was so vulnerable makes no sense. A reasonable deduction. But if they don't yet have Hayden's research, we may still have time to rescue him before something really bad happens. No, I didn't. They assaulted us from behind, and nothing showed up on my optics before I was disrupted. They either had cloaking of some kind, or were extraordinarily careful while making their way into the apartment. My optics, while not top of the line, are better than an off-the-shelf ROMs, and I should have been able to detect any thermal changes from someone being there. Before I forget, here are your belongings. The nurses had me hold on to them for you until you awoke. Here's your ID card. Don't lose this again. Here are those headphones you reviewed. I noticed the article on your computer before. Good job getting published. Oh, and... Here's your spoiled milk. Luckily, the hospital staff didn't find your carrying of a carton of spoiled milk around to be a cause for concern. 
just let me know when you want to leave. Uh, excuse me. Are you talking about Hayden Weber? <laughs>